Here's a quick look at the progression in the last five years of Fargo ratings in the various North American states and provinces. We look at the number of established Fargo ratings per capita, per 100,000 population. When you see states that are white or the lowest shade of blue, those are ones that hover around two established players per 100,000 population. For perspective, populations of 10 million like New York City or state of Arizona or state of Michigan, this would mean 200 players. And then the next three shades of blue go up in that same 10 million population to 400 players, 1,000 players, and 2,200 players. We had a head start in the state of North Dakota because we've been collecting games for six years by the summer of 2015. Minnesota had Midwest Pool Players Association events, MPA events run by John Stitch. Pacific Northwest had a lot of Western BCA events. Chris Bondi in Wisconsin facilitated data gathering from a lot of venues uh, with my pool stats. Ken Jennings was instrumental in getting Fargo ratings going in Oklahoma. We worked a lot with the Arizona Ratings Committee, switching from their rating system over to Fargo ratings. A lot of historical CSI tournament data came in. We've worked with data from a lot of pool tours, Mez West Tour in California, Melinda Bailey in Texas, and Mark Dion in Massachusetts, Mike Zuglin, Joss Northeast, uh, Action Pool Tour in Virginia, Brunswick and Nova Scotia, Atlantic Nine Ball Tour, Sunshine State in Florida, and many others. We take in seven or 800 tournaments a month now. So here we are, summer of 2020. The states are in the darkest blue. Most players in most tournaments have an established Fargo rating, and you can count on it. Those states are also enjoying quite an uptick in the amount of play, the number of tournaments and the number of players in those tournaments. Some of the states in intermediate shades of blue can still have a fair number of players with established Fargo ratings. Florida, for instance, has 2,200, Texas 3,000, and California 1,800. This means a lot of the players in the bigger tournaments have Fargo ratings, but some don't. There may be a little bit of a Wild West feel some of the time. And amongst the few states that are left in white, Georgia, for instance, has about 100 players with established Fargo ratings, mostly players that have played elsewhere. As all the states and provinces turn a darker shade of blue, and it's pretty clear that's the direction things are going, there'll be opportunities for a sport that are not available right now. I'm not talking about handicapped events. I'm talking about major events for regional, national, and international high-level players leveraged by the fact more people are playing competitively. We need to get pool leagues everywhere using Fargo ratings, and they can do that by using the Fargo Rate LMS League Management software. This is the glue that binds us all together. And I'm talking about North America specifically here, but it's not just North America. New Zealand is blue, Australia is blue, a handful of countries in Europe are blue, Pools on a path, and that's a good thing. 